Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be talking about a new concept, and in the next video, we are going to be applying this concept to an example. This video, we are going to be talking about else if. So thus far, we have talked about the if statement, and we have even talked about using an else. This is a traditional if else, and else if is a little bit different. So with an if else, what you're doing is you're essentially uh, taking your program, and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna branch two different ways, right? With an else if, we are going to branch three different ways. So it would look like this, where the first one is the if being true, the next one is basically another if, the else if, and then the third one is else. So what does this look like? It's actually really simple. Let's say we're building like a weather app or something and we want to do some kind of conditional on the temperature. So let's just say we have some variable temp, which is really confusing because traditionally temp means a temporary variable. So you might want to use temperature, but hashtag rebel or something. I'm just going to use temp. All right, so if temp is less than 50, and then you might say, it's cold, and then you close that. Now, what, it, what you do is you put else if, and this is actually going to need another condition. So you put another pair of parentheses with another condition in here. Now, you're not restricted on what you can put in here, so you can use different variables than the if statement. Usually, though, you're going to be using similar variables, but just in different ranges. So you might do something like this, temp greater than 90. In other words, it's super hot. <laughs> and then you do another curly braces pair and then do uh, whatever code you want for that. So now it's super hot. Lastly, we have the else. And you don't need curly braces for that. You do need the block of code. And I guess this would be average. So this is how an else if is structured. It looks exactly like the if where you have the parentheses. The only thing is you have else space if. So basically we've given three variations. The if with no else, if with an else, and then the else if. Uh, also, you can have more than one else if if you would like. So for example, you could make else if here, put another condition, and then have else. So you can branch in essentially as many directions as you like. To visually see this, it might look like this. Here's some condition. And if it passes as true, you're going to execute some extra code. If it's false, it's just going to continue executing. And eventually this is going to go back onto the same branch. So just this extra code is executed. And then we're back to normal. This would be a traditional if statement. This doesn't consider the else. If with an else is going to be a little bit different in that we can branch this way as well. And now we have to go one of these ways. So we're either going to execute this one or this one but not neither. We have to execute one of them. It's the only way to continue on in the program. The else if is a little bit different, and if I had to structure it this way, I'd probably do something like this, where we have another condition if the first one's false, and then this one can break into true and false. So my drawing has kind of gotten a little unbearable, but <laughs> essentially now we have to go one of these ways. So one's gonna be true and one's gonna be false. And this isn't a complete illustration, and it's kind of crappy now that I think about it. After I've written it, I'm just like, uh, you know, this wasn't that great of an illustration, but <laughs> it, it works. So it's just, it's just kind of a way to illustrate it, but one downfall here is that you can actually have an else if without the else statement. So you could have if with the parentheses, else if, parentheses, and both of the curly brace sets, but no else and that'll work just fine. So this is kind of an incomplete picture, so if that doesn't help you, just ignore it. <laughs> I just kind of made it up, so yeah, that usually turns bad. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you've appreciated this video, please be sure to give me a like and subscribe to this channel as I'm putting a lot of effort into getting these videos out. And you know, it's cool to have some uh, subscribers and followers, so I uh, really appreciate when you guys follow and watch my new videos, because that really, really makes my work feel valuable. So thank you, I will see you in the next video.